Wonderlooper and 316, both Pima cotton t-shirts and both seriously luxurious. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the details of each. So let's get into it. So firstly, I just wanna caveat that this video was supposed to be a like for like comparison with this one, which is the Wonderlooper uh, Ultimate uh, Pima Suriyami t-shirt and the, the 316 uh, Pima Cotton 2-pack t-shirt. Uh, the, the problem is I can't really find much information about the 316 shirts. Now, if you go to the 316 website and any other reseller of 316 across the world for that matter, they all have the exact same information. There's around three points on what kind of fabric it is and that's it. Whereas Wonderlooper, they really go the extra mile. They go into detail about all their fabrics, where it comes from. They do interviews and uh, live sessions on YouTube, which I really find fantastic. So I think it's a little bit one-sided in the fact that I know too much about these um, Wonderlooper shirts. But don't let me, don't let that change your opinion. It's, not, it's certainly not changing my opinion. I just think it's a little bit of an unfair video. But with that being said, let's go into the details of each. I'll tell you the pros and cons of each and really how I feel about them. I've worn these, both of these for quite some time, the 316 for well over a year uh, and the Wonderlooper for coming up to three, four months now. Uh, so yeah, let's get right into it. So the obvious thing is they're both Pima cotton t-shirts, but they're very different in the types of Pima cotton they are. One thing is they're both American grown Pima cotton. Now, some people believe that Pima cotton's only grown in America. It's not, it's grown in a few other places as well. It originates from Peru originally, then it was cultivated in the US. And now the best Pima cotton in the world is from the US, but it does grow elsewhere. Pima cotton is super luxurious. It's extra long staple cotton. It means that it's really durable and it's really soft and silky and smooth. So that's why when you get something that is Pima cotton, you know it's gonna be a nice quality uh, shirt, garment, whatever it is. But where we differ with the fabric is the weight. So the, the uh, Wonderlooper shirt is uh, 231 GSM, so 231 grams per square meter, roughly translates to like almost seven ounces if you're looking at it in jeans terms. Whereas the 316 is a lot lighter in the fact that it's, I think it's 163 uh, GSM. So it's a very light, very thin shirt compared to the Wonderlooper. You can definitely feel that it's a lot thinner. Uh, so that is the first thing. So this is where the similarities end. 316 claim they have American cultivated, American grown Pima cotton, but that is all I can find out about it. Whereas Wonderlooper, they go into the details. They have the same US grown cultivated Pima cotton, but it is the top 1% cotton grown in the world, top 1% Pima cotton grown in the world, both organic and conventional. It comes from one farm, one farm alone in New Mexico, and it is the longest staple grown anywhere in the world. So that means it's durable, it's luxurious, and it's just the most silkiest smooth cotton you can possibly imagine. Well, is that marketing hype? I don't know, you would say maybe, but I've got both the shirts here and I've worn both of them. And I can tell you that the Wonderloop one is definitely softer. They've both been through numerous washes and the Wonderloop one just does feel better. So in terms of fabric and feel, I, I take Wonderlooper. I think after numerous washes, the 316 one just feels a little flat. It doesn't feel as luxurious as it used to. Whereas the Wonderlooper one, maybe it's because it's heavier as well. The Wonderlooper one just feels that bit heftier. Now come summertime, you may prefer the 316 over the Wonderlooper. That's just based on temperature. They both will be breathable. They're both natural. They're both organic as well. But it does, after numerous washes, just feel flat, if that makes sense. Now Wonderlooper have gone with the use of the word suriyami, which in Japanese, I think that translates to hanging knit. And that's just to get rid of that confusion. And those videos you've seen, I'll try to put some up now where there's the fabric just falling from the top into a circular motion around a cylinder. That is literally uh, the suriyami that we all know and love. Uh, tubular knit's very, very different. It's a different machine, I believe, but uh, you want to stick to suriyami knit and it just means no tension, super soft, nothing's been pulled. It's fallen over the garment. Uh, and so on and so forth. People like to think that anything with side seams is not loop wheeled, is not suriyami knit, which is not the case. This, These shirts, both shirts have side seams, but doesn't mean they're not uh, suriyami knit. Uh, it's based on the size. So basically there's only a few suriyami machines in the world. They're mainly in Japan and there's also one or two or a couple in Germany. Uh, they are set sizes. So if you wanted to do a small, an extra small, medium, large, whatever, you have to have a specific machine for each 
shirt size. Now in Wonderlooper's case, if they wanted to have no side seams and continue with this, a couple machines doing the sizes, uh, they were set up in Japan for different sizing. So they would have, I think the maximum size they could have gone up to in the shirts was uh, a medium without uh, a lot of trouble. So they decided to just do the fabric uh, on all the machines, cut them and then make their own sizes out of that. So still the same fabric, it's just constructed a little bit differently. They've put it together with the flat side seams uh, using, using the Union Special Machine. So all the details are there as well. They don't skimp on anything as well. And you know from previous videos that I've put together that uh, Suriyami knitting takes a long time. I think like a meter of fabric is something like 45 minutes. It's super, super slow. So that's why everything is so more expensive, the time consuming as well. Uh, now when we're talking the 316, I don't know how it's been put together. It says that it's just stitched in LA but there's no information about is it Suriyami knit is it circular knit is it just regular knit who knows so I can't really give you details on that sizing wise they differ a little bit now in the 316 I also have the heavyweight shirts in 316 the two pack and they're always a medium for me I've had a medium in 316 for forever uh, and that's a bit weird I think because I'm usually a large in everything else including this Wonderloop shirt so this Wonderloop shirt is a large and I think it fits me just fine now in terms of how they both fit I think they both fit me amazingly well they both have an incredible drape I think the 316 one, it's actually a lot lighter. So the drape is very, very nice. I like wearing this in the summer because it's really, really thin. It's probably the second thinnest t-shirt I own other than the Sunspell one, but you know, it's, it's see-through as well, basically. So it is a perfect summer t-shirt. Uh, and as I said, it just sits on me nice. It has a really tight collar as well. So that, you know, the, the stitching is pretty good. I've worn this uh, quite some number of years and the, the stitching and the collar has not come undone, but it's a really tight collar around your neck when it, when you're putting it on. Wonderlooper as well, you know, I can't really fault it. You, you know, I'm not gonna really fault uh, this much in uh, this video. Uh, the drape is good. Uh, the one thing is it's a lot longer in the body. So if you're looking for, if you're into shirts that are a lot longer in the body, this one is probably one for you um, compared to the 316 one, which is more, I would say conventional. Uh, it's very interesting about that because, you know, I wouldn't expect a shirt out of Japan to be, uh, you know, that long in the body, um, but you know, it does still drape quite nicely, but some people might not uh, like that. Right, so let's talk cost. Now the 316, we know it comes in a two pack, so you get two of them, which is, uh, I said this in the heavyweight review I did a few years ago. I think that's phenomenal value for money. They're great t-shirts. Now they come in at about $100, I think it's like 98 US dollars for two of them. Uh, whereas the Wonderlooper, you just get the single shirt and that's around, I think it's 94 pounds, which is about $120. So there's a, there's a difference for about $20 there, but you also get an extra shirt with the 316. So you need to weigh up what you're, you know, you're wanting, right? So, you know, the 316 is already phenomenal uh, quality, but the, uh, I think the Wonderlooper one is just a little bit more, a bit better than that. The quality is a, a lot better. Uh, so yeah, you gotta weigh up what you want. Do you want two shirts? Do you want one shirt? That's the best in the world, really. So let's talk colors and there's not really much to talk about. They both come in black and they both come in white and that is it, nothing else. Uh, I did find the Wonderlooper shirt is actually a little bit darker than the 316 and I don't know if that's because I've worn the 316 a lot more, but I find, yeah, I find the 316 a little bit washed out a little bit, whereas the, uh, the Wonderlooper one, this one here, is a lot, lot darker. So make that of you what you want, uh, but they're both black. Right, so let's talk about negatives. Now, some of them have things that, you know, may not bother other people, uh, but the main one I found with both of them is they both are magnets for pet hair. If you've got dogs, cats, whatever, there may be a black Pima Cotton t-shirt is not for you. Now, it's not a reflection of each company, it's down to the fabric, so organic cotton, uh, really top quality organic fibers attract pet hair. It's just, it's just a fact and you can't get away from that. So the better you get in the feel and the luxuriousness is just gonna attract pet hair. Uh, so no end to that with both of them. They both, you, you lay it down on anywhere where the pets have been, on the couch, whatever. As soon as you get up, they both have it. So that's something to take into consideration. Maybe get the white one, like I said. Other than that, everything else is uh, down to the individual. Uh, if you like a shorter shirt, maybe the 316 is the one for you. It's a lot lighter as well. Maybe if you're someone that sweats a lot and you just like a, you know something thin on you, it is a thin shirt. It does feel a little bit more flimsy though. So if you like something that is a bit more uh, solid, bits, feels a bit more quality, then you would probably go for the uh, Wonderlooper. It's a bit heavier, 
it definitely feels like the best uh, Pima cotton in the world. It's super luxurious after washes, whereas the 316 feels a little flat. But if you're talking value, you get more from the 316. You get two shirts for the price of one, basically. Uh, whereas the Wonderlooper one, you get that one shirt. But you know it's the best shirt in the world. I, I, I tend to believe it's the best shirt in the world. So yeah, things to weigh up there. It's all down to you guys. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed that. That was just a comparison of two Pima Cotton t-shirts. Don't really see many comparisons of those around. These are two big players in the market right now. So I really hope that's given some of you guys some insight if you're looking to get either of them. I'm gonna drop some links down below. The Wonderlooper stuff is so popular though. It's really out of stock in a lot of places. So if you find it, grab it. Uh, and the 316 stuff comes in and out every year. They usually rotate with the heavyweight versus the, the, the normal Pima Cotton ones as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Do let me know if you did. Drop a comment down below. Let me know if you've got either of them because I'd like to know if you're experiencing the same thing in terms of the pet hair, etc. If you have any remedies other than a, than a lint roller, that would be fantastic. Uh, and with all that being said, have a great day, guys, and we'll see you next time.